bad grief time. Usurer wages war on all poorer. Just nailed barley down. Here we go, all around. My guest is best when you see them less. Oh, I'm sorry. Clearly you're terribly busy here. Indeed, I am busy. Business doesn't make itself. Oh, someone spins the gears. What's wrong? I've got enough on my plate. Will you tell me? No. Long tongues lead to short lives. If you have a point, get to it. If not, don't let the door hit you on the way out. We're getting together this night. The four of us. The old place. Huh? Why all of a sudden? We can mend our old friendship. I'm sure we can. The old place is in by the gumstone. At the railroad. Yes, the Apple Road, remember? Go ahead. The three of you will have more fun without me. <clears throat> no, we won't. I don't know, Cub. I've got a full plate here. Those men, the night hunters, they're too fond of playing with knives. Way too fond. Where'd they all even come from? The ones cutting people? Not my fault, but somehow it is. Never took blood, but I dressed for a red harvest. How it bloomed. Forget it. I'll deal with it myself. Just come to our old place. Did you hear me? Please come. No one will blame you. I invited Grief to meet old friends. We'll see if he comes. Okay, where to now? Need to speak with Denkovsky. Need to speak with Georgie. Wait, what is... Rubens here? There's a mark here to talk with someone. We've already talked with Lara, Grief, and of course I'm going to be there. That just leaves Ruben, so Ruben must be here at the Kane's place? I was thinking of stopping by their home, over here, but I guess they won't be there. Probably. Alright. Where are we actually meeting at, by the way? Is that actually marked on the map? I'm a little bit scared, but maybe I need to speak with everyone before it even becomes a real thing. Like, I have to invite everyone. All right, well, obviously I need to get over here. A boat would have to go all the way around, which is probably not worth it. Maybe not worth it. Ah, fuck it. Let's go by boat. I'm seriously eating up a lot of time running around. Even a far boat travel only takes like 35 minutes or so. So this is probably worth it. And I have a lot of fingernails. Like what am I getting them for if not to use?
50 minutes, yeah, that's relatively long. Is that less time than it would take to just sprint there? Like, honestly. Oh, right, there's a boat over here, too. Oh, 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 this one's totally worth it. 50 minutes, sure. Ah, no. Just try to look for an open door in these buildings. Oh, all right. Oh, what is this? What do you do here? Sculptures or something? Everything is connected. Woven together, it forms a pattern in the great design. A human weaver who makes new connections cannot be ended by death. This is Georgie. Your Artemy Barak. Greetings, Judge. About the house. Now, after I've seen you with my own eyes, I relinquish all claims I have on your property. The house is yours. That's all it took? I'm going to write a decree. Pass it to the Prefect of the Hindquarters District. Today, of course. Why today? Those are the rules. The judge's decision is, exec is executed on the same day it's made. But why? This sounds inconvenient. Convenience is poison. One must accustom themselves to pursue any intention as soon as it appears, regardless of difficulty. Otherwise, one burns out, gives in to doubt, starts fearing oneself. The bolder the dream, the more surely it becomes dust when the moment is lost. I feel like they're almost telling me... I don't know, something about like what I should be pursuing in every day? Even if it's difficult, if you intend to do something, just go for it? And don't stop and do the other stuff that's convenient along the way? I don't... No thanks, I'm gonna keep going the way I've been going, it's been working pretty well. Now I understand. Right. That was easy. The judge changed his mind. The canes are strange. To prove my rights of ownership, I need to hand the paper signed by the judge to the Hindquarters District Prefect. Where is the Hindquarters District? Is that where my house is in? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to wait on that one. Oh, the map opened up because because Gabby was on my desk and she just stepped on my keyboard. <laughs> That's why that happened. Who are you? Agnia. The judge is in his workshop around the corner, but I can tell you his answer right now. Yes, you may. Well, I guess I already know that. I may what? You may slay the outlaws at night without repercussions. You were the fifth to come and ask about that. I wasn't asking about that. And why have you come? I'm wondering if my man is going to come and ask the same. If he's genuinely planning to kill the killers. If he is, I'm leaving. Today. I admire your resolve. If somebody you know is planning to murder a person, even a villain, then there's something wrong with them. And I've seen a few red flags already. Be careful at night. There's no guarantee your boyfriend doesn't join the outlaws instead. This 
this is where Ruben is? That's a captivating picture. Painting, rather. What a room. The seam must not split. Well, why are you here? Work. What kind of work can you possibly be doing at this place? I'll have you know this house is in mourning too. Simon King died the same night as my mentor. I'm a pathoanatomist, if you didn't know. It's my main area of expertise. I didn't. How was I to know? Forget it. Are you here about Simon's body as well? You're a bit late. I performed the autopsy on the same day. And on the next day, the body went missing. The hell? Was it stolen? By whom? And what for? I've already convinced the judge that it wasn't my fault. I am, after all, a pathoanatomist, not a guard. The Canes have enough people. They'll find it. So it's not our problem anymore. Ooh, this song. I haven't heard this one before. Anyway, I actually came here looking for you. Why? We want to gather this evening. At the old place. By the basket? Yes, by the basket. Touching. Bad grief included? Um. I mean. Yes, maybe? I invited them. We'll see who comes. Heard you loud and clear. And now excuse me, but I need to prepare for a tough conversation. Wait a second. Tell me. Reconciling everyone was, of course, Lara's idea. Okay, I actually genuinely don't remember whose idea it was. Was it Lara's or mine? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to say it's mine? Um, no, Stock. It was mine. I invited Stock to our childhood gang meeting. I wonder if you'll come. Lara, Bad Grief, Ruben, and I are meeting after midnight in the old place. I hope we can connect again. Is it marked on the map now? It's not? Uh-oh. I don't know where the old place is. The Basket Apple Road? I don't know. Isn't, um... Didn't someone say by the station? I don't know. Well, maybe it'll become clear when it's closer to the time it said after midnight, so... Don't need to worry about it for now. Hi? Where do our dead go? Remember I had that rather unpleasant meeting with them once before, them and um, Capella, and they both told me to fuck off. What are you doing here? I was looking for Reuben. He's upstairs waiting for you. No one enters this house uninvited. Get lost, and do not return unless summoned. Will you ever summon me? Oh, it actually forces me out, huh? What if I try to go back inside? Hmm. To the bachelor. Hey kids, you up to something? You're like staring the same direction. Tatochka. So that's what he looks like. Behold, folks. So here's what we want you to know. 
Don't let yourself think we'd let you in on the game just because you're pretty. No one's happy that we had to do it, got it? No one knows you yet. And if you spill the beans to any grown-ups, you'll mess it all up. Got it? Yeah, got it. Have you found anything? Go to the gut. You'll find a cache there in the boulders next to a threshing machine. Just be sneaky, alright? Don't let anyone see you, got it? <laughs> Both these options are so rude. The gut. A cache in the boulders in the gut at a threshing machine. Will you calm down, you distrustful chipmunk? <laughs> Jeez. Um, where is that? This is the gut, so it's right here. Oh, I think I even checked out that machine. I think, and I was looking at it wondering what it was for. Wasn't it in the area where those three bodies from the people at the train station were? Holy shit, look at all the birds up there. The shadows they cast. That is so cool. Ah, hi kids. Smoked fish. For two needles and a match. Definitely worth it. I'm actually at about half hunger. Let's eat it. All these groups of people. They're called skin. The crows not being noticed by anyone is a bad omen. Oh, you notice them, huh? What kind of omen is that? A real one. Crows are harbingers of death. Whoever doesn't notice crows will die soon. We've been standing here for a while. Many, many, many people passed us by. The three of us were the only ones who stopped to look. The four of us. The three. There are three of us. Uh, oh, yes. Four. Whichever you prefer. Three is fine by me. Nerve. Wait, skin? Is the kid's name your name to Nerve? The crows perching directly on the cathedral are a bad omen. <laughs> this option, don't worry, pal. Crows have the right to be devout, too. Why? For the canes, every building is a machine, making something for humans, or with them. For example, this cathedral has nothing to do with religion. There's a grim joke circulating around, claiming that the cathedral makes time. Do the canes mean it for real? Just makes it, produces it. The canes lay out their buildings in such a way that they change the perception and worldview of those inside them. I guess Simon wanted people to feel the flow of time differently inside the cathedral, so that's how he planned the building. But then rumors simplified the idea. Alright, but how are crows at fault? They slow time down. The canes rush it ahead, they refuse to sit on their hands. Complacency and laziness are the worst sins in their book. Slow time is tantamount to death for them. But those are just silly rumors. I, on the other hand, don't like being rushed. So skin, nerves, and blood. Crows being so numerous this year are a bad omen. Sign Bina, Kayala. How fair is your kind? Numerous indeed. A beautiful sight, huh? Beautiful indeed. Yamar goe be. Still, as an omen, it's bad. Why? When crows are numerous, they're waiting for carrion. And what can we give them? Our bodies feed Mother Bodo, the Earth. Why feed crows? Idahomne? Kairene? That would be like giving yourself to the sky. You know it's a bad way to go. And so the omen is ill. I 
let them wait. They'll get nothing. It's so ominous, not just them talking about omens, so quite literally ominous, but also just the fact that they're named Skin, Nerve, and Blood? Uh, can I go inside the cathedral? Man, look at that. Nope. Alright, I'm back here. I think there's a way through to the bachelor's place. Is there more in this field? Oh god, what are you all doing here? Orderly. Dr. Dinkovsky ordered us to meet him here by the house he's staying at. We've been waiting for half an hour, but he still isn't coming out. Meaning he's busy. So we wait. You will too. Fuck, no, I'm not waiting. Who are you? Volunteers. Orderlies. He made us put on these clothes and come to him. The man clearly has theatrical ambitions. Why did he make you wear... this? Flea protection. He said we'd thank him soon. And we believe him. Good that you're taking hygiene so seriously. <laughs> Alright, I'm going in. Fuck off. Hi? Strange room, and who are you? And what are you wearing? I can feel the cracks in my lacquer. See? Ava, Ava Yawn. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to see if I remember them from the original Pathologic. I don't. Who are you? <laughs> Just the milkman. <laughs> Um, Artemy Barak, surgeon. What do you want? You look like you can hardly read, and I doubt you're into stargazing. What the fuck? Where's Daniel Dinkovsky? He's staying here, right? He... he isn't here, and he isn't coming. He's gone to the town hall for a meeting, an important meeting, with doctors. Who's that walking upstairs then, pacing impatiently, waiting for me? Just mice. No, I mean, uh, ghosts. Restless souls. There are lots of them here. Pretty huge mice, huh? You must be an excellent chef. What the hell? Who are they? Why are they trying to lie to... Why are they treating me like shit and trying to lie to me and make me not meet Daniel? Who? Ava swears that Dinkovsky is in the town hall. Well, that's not hard to check. And they're wearing... I've never seen anyone wear clothes like that. Nerves. I really don't remember that character from the original at all. They probably were in the original. Oh, the Stillwater. Ava Jan's house. An observatory of unseen skies. Used to be a guest house for outsiders. Every, I just want to stop and look at like the walls. Like, look at how beautiful and detailed they are. So weathered. Wait, so there really is nobody up here. <laughs> I could just imagine someone drinking tea or 
coffee or twirin or something and staring out the window. Oh, this music too is really cool. That's it. Just a place to save. So, I mean, I guess they weren't lying to me, but they really seemed awfully shifty. Like, they're, you know, you say someone's a bad liar. Well, they're a bad truth teller. Because <laughs> it seemed like their probably truth was a lie. I think I'm going to go take a boat. Let's take this boat up here and then go to the town hall. Wait, I can talk with you again? Sometimes I wonder what is beyond wonders. Happy now? Don't ever do that again. So he's off to the town hall, huh? Uh-huh. To the town hall. And then to the theater. You said he had an important appointment. With some doctors, yes. I suppose that would be me. Will it rain? Will it snow? So strange. And the orderlies are now gone? Whoa. Little jumpy mice! This is probably a bad omen, but I love them. Hmm. Some things aren't bound to happen? What? Wait a minute. Some things aren't bound to happen. That's the, um... Proving my right of ownership. Uh, ownership. I can't do that anymore? It's only 4.40pm. Weird. What is up with that bell? What's going on at the cathedral, is it? I hear someone screaming, I think. Is there another bell? Because this one's not moving. Where's it coming from? I'm scared. <laughs> Things are weird. Well, while that ominous bell keeps dinging, let's talk to Goldfinch. Whoa, you're a beast. Whose idea was it to let the muscle in on the game? What's next, an invitation to Barley the Thug? Barley who? Well, there's this one fella. Used to be Bad Grief's pal, but then they fell out. Barley split away and founded his own gang. A real no-nonsense affair unlike Grief's circus. We would have suspected the man immediately, but we checked him already. Alright, anything else? In the gut, under the stairway. You won't miss it. And don't forget to leave something. We'll check, too. We'll see what kind of player you are. Because we've had a bunch... Because uh, we've had a bunch. Remember Firebrand, the cheapskate? You take a watch and leave a pencil. Some personality. At least we figured out it was him quick. Relax, relax. I remember the rules. In the gut under the stairway. Over here. Ah, another stash. Well, I should mark that on my map then. It's... 
to the right of the theater. Here? I'm drawing on a postage stamp. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It sounds like it's ringing from everywhere at once. I feel like the plague has started and that's what that's signifying. Look at all these little jumpies though. Don't suppose this is unlocked now? Oh my god, look at them. <laughs> They're all pointing to the right. This way, huh? Alright. They're just pointing the way. Fucking creepy. Creepers. Yeah, there's some new stuff here. Coffins. I think the plague has actually officially started. Where are you guiding me to? they've just declared the start of the plague. Ooh, looks like we have a meeting of the minds here. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I think this is going to be a pretty long series of conversations here. Everybody, I think, is trying to figure out what to do. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to speak with everybody.